walking the line looking for sawfish, but in walking the line, we came across this. This is the fin of a, probably a juvenile bull shark. It's been finned, probably caught by a local. It really impresses the need. Sawfish! Sawfish! We got a sawfish, let's go. Marine biologist Luke Tipple has brought 20 satellite tags to attach to the reef sharks. He hopes the sharks themselves will answer the question of where they came from. This whole expedition really is unprecedented. I mean, the amount of shark research that's been done in the Marshall Islands is fairly limited. A nice day of sunshine and some warmth from this place is entirely different. We can see thousands of snakes covering the den floor here. And just look at this biomass, thousands and thousands of snakes all the way up here. These guys are very warm, they're very active. There's lots and lots of females everywhere. This is exactly what we came to see. Look, where are we going today exactly? To a place called Tiger Beach. It's roughly 20 miles north of Grand Bahama Island. In 2011, Bahamas National Trust made a really important decision to specifically protect the sharks. So all of their waters are a shark sanctuary. Pretty hardcore shark diving. Here's the I'm OK signal. Here's something going wrong. Yep. All right, Damon, you ready to have a first shark dive? I am. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, because if I don't come back, my team's coming for you. <laughs> they can try to find me, mate. I'll be about 20 feet under. <laughs> but luckily for me, Dozer is a very friendly giraffe. Check it out. Very smooth on the bottom, very rough on the top, made for ripping leaves from the trees of the acacia. What he does, he takes the food with his tongue and he chews it with molars right down the back of his jaw. It takes him a little while to swallow it and get it down his neck before he can take another mouthful. Most studies will go in with a long line. They'll go and fish a shark, catch it, and they'll cause trauma to the animal that may cause it to relocate. And that's something that doesn't get talked about a lot. It may leave the wreck and go off to a reef because suddenly that wreck is a, is a bad place for the shark to be. It came past perfectly lined up for me, got it, perfect placement, and it swam off quite happily. Well yeah, done. they're there. Well done. Yeah. These are 2.5 milliwatt lasers. Underwater, what you'll see is two parallel laser beams. They'll be pointed out directly in front of me. This will enable me underwater to shine these laser beams onto an animal, and we'll be able to get an accurate assessment of exactly how long they are within maybe an inch or two. They continue to struggle against heavy currents during decompression. That was an extremely challenging dive. That wreck wants blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a heavy. Yeah, that was heavy. Brutal down there. Yeah, it takes a special kind of idiot to chase down an extremely endangered animal on a wreck that's trying to kill us. Males are so starved for sex, they don't even stop to eat. Female pheromones drive them crazy, even in a laboratory. Can I shake the sperm? Yeah, yeah. You can shake the sperm while you want. Let's just do this long enough to be awkward. You're not quite there. Not quite Almost. There. Almost. There you go. Okay. Air is running low, but at nearly 170 feet, Luke finds what he's been searching for, a male reef shark. We dropped down to about 150 feet where we hit a thermocline. It went from a beautiful 85 degree water, dropped down to in the 60s, so quite cold. Under that thermocline at about 168 feet, we saw the sharks show up, some very large gray reef sharks. I got a tag on a fairly large female, and then I got to tag a large male, the largest male I've seen in this area yet, and it might explain why we're not seeing them here in the shallow part of the reef. They may be hanging down under the thermocline. Yeah? Go one. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you got on camera! Yep. <laughs> Sawfish! Thank you. Good job, guys. Actually getting the shot of the sawfish after everything we went through was a huge relief to the whole team. You could just feel it in the air. Just like, yes. <sighs> and the winner is... Wow.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. And Thank Damon, you. most important, $50,000. Woo! All right. Congrats, Luke. That's a great looking fish check. I wish I was check. happy for you. You are happy for him. It's a great cause. Look, all joking aside, I am so excited. Honestly, I didn't think that we would do this because the other sharks were so convincing at the same time. What is this going to do for your research? This will put into place a pilot program and a code of conduct for the Bahamas to ensure that tourism is safe and sustainable for everybody. It'll help institute a model of that tourism that can be spread worldwide, and it'll help protect sharks. Thank you so much, guys. Wow. Thank you, thank you so well much. Done. Hey, congratulations, guys. Congratulations. More importantly, thank you so much and all the people that are tirelessly working to save this beautiful species. Hey, and thanks, Damon, for getting in the water with the tiger. Yeah, yeah. Congrats, guys.